Today on the channel, we're taking a look at the Spin Master Ultimate Batwing that also comes with Batman and the Flash. We're going to be unboxing it, we're going to be re reviewing it, and we'll talk about it a little bit. Um, now, as you may or may not know, there's three different Batwings coming out for the Flash movie. There's this one from Spin Master going for, I think it's $25 American, and then there's one going for $35 American. It's also a Spin Master one. It's larger than this one, and it uh, comes with a 12-inch figure that you can put inside uh, the Batwing. And then there's the McFarlane um, Batwing that's going for $250 that's, like, huge. It's 35 inches wide or something like that, and, it, uh, and it's for the 7-inch scale. Um, I think out of all three of them, I don't know. I think this is the one for me personally. Um, I was going to get the one from Spin Master that's going for $35. It's larger than this. But once I saw that the, the cockpit is the entire length of like the plane, um, and it comes with that 12 inch figure, I was kind of not liking that too much. I thought maybe... I could buy that one and then like paint the inside of the cockpit so it looks like like maybe 80% of the cockpit paint and just leave the front part of it here like from the inside painting it so it looked like the cockpit's like this size um, but I'm not sure. I might end up getting the, the $250 one from McFarlane. I'm not sure. I feel if they would have released um, like an 89 uh, Batwing for 250, then I would have been like, like I think I gotta get it. <laughs> Whereas this new design, even though it's based off of the 89 Batwing, I, I haven't seen the movie yet. There's no like super love for it or anything yet. So, so I thought this was a good, uh, you know, they came out with three, so I chose this one to go with for now. So, um, take a look at the, the packaging here. It's got the, yeah, it's got the. Spin Master packaging. People are probably pretty used to it. Seeing these vehicles that come with a couple figures. Um, it's all open display here. It's good. Now this one has one of the zip ties already broken here, so that's kind of nice. So let's get these uh, out of the box here. Looks just like three cuts in the planes completely out already. I don't care about this packaging much. Yeah, that means out. Nice. As far as the Flash's uh, outfit for this movie or uniform, I don't really like any of them. The only Flash outfit I liked was from the Flash 90s TV series. The live action show where the guy was like super ripped and had crazy traps and he was just, there was so much muscle. Ah, uh, it looked great. Th that's one thing uh, lacking with all the superheroes to me is like I want them in like skin tight spandex with crazy muscles. I don't really want like armor suits, um, especially someone like the Flash. So here's the, the, uh, the Flash figure here. Just the 3.75 inch scale, 4 inch scale, something like that. I think it's 4 inch. Looks okay. It's got, as far as articulation, like the same with all these kind of 4 inch figures. It moves at the shoulders, it moves at the elbows, it moves at the hips, it moves at the knee. And, and there's a thigh cut. So, and the head moves. So, it's basically articulation you get for these little guys here. Um, so. Is this the Flash movie or is this the Batman movie? I'm not really sure. It's kind of turned into like an 89 uh, Michael Keaton's back movie. So. Uh, let's take a see here. Four inch scale Batman here. Comes with a, a cape, and it's actually not paper. It's made out of like a material. It's nice. 
same articulation. This looks pretty good. This looks pretty good for a four inch scale. I think it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, no gripes about it at all. It looks really good. Also, I thought the cape was just going to be actual paper. So the fact that it's fabric is it's pretty nice. Um, now for the main course here, the bat wing. As you can see, it has it has nice detailing throughout. Got the cat hair on here. Um, it's got little details here and here, details everywhere. Details on the bottom. It's got these little spinner things, and uh, I wonder what goes in here because I don't believe this thing has any sound effects or anything. So what would be screwing? I guess that's just a screw screwing it down. I don't know. Um, it does have landing gear on the bottom here, which any plane ever, I never use the landing gear. I think it looks, the plane sitting on the landing gear, I think it looks terrible, like any plane vehicle. So I always don't use the landing gear and I just have it uh, always just sitting flat on the shelf. Why? I feel that like uh, a convertible throws the lines off of a car. I feel that when you have any sort of plane or something on a shelf and it's on the landing gear, it just ugh, it throws off the whole look of the of the aircraft. That same thing, like if I see jets sitting on an aircraft carrier and they have their like landing gear down, I'm like, oh, it just looks terrible. But then when the jets in the in the sky flying, it looks it's it's gorgeous. It's a work of art. So so same thing applies to this. So I'll be displaying this just on the shelf, poof, like that. I want to have it on the landing gear. So I can see it not coming with landing gear and people being like, oh, like what? It should have came with landing gear, but no, no, I, I don't know. Not for, for me, it's, it's neither here nor there. Um, comes with a, a pretty nice cockpit. I don't know. It just, the plastic looks a little, it's got a little bit of a tint. Mine has a little bit of a wear spot here, but, um, which looks pretty, looks pretty good. There's nothing inside the cockpit. There's no sticker, the steering wheel or anything, but I think everything since it's black on black on black with a slightly tinted thing, I don't think you could really see him in there anyways. I think the only thing you'll see is the, his symbol. So let's put uh, Batman inside here, see how it looks. <laughs> McFarlane's smart. Whenever he's doing his like reviews, he's like, "Well, like I'm not gonna do it on camera, but you just jam them in there," <laughs> because he knows sometimes it doesn't go as well. But that worked out good. Look, he fits in it perfect. Looks really good in it. I really like this bat wing. I like the 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 size of it. Um, like even though it's a four inch scale, I I feel like the seven inch scale one or a, like a larger one, like. Everyone's in the same boat. Where do you put it? How do you display it? I don't know. This thing you can put somewhere for a bit. You might put it aside in the future or something. So, um, as far as like, it doesn't have any. It doesn't launch any missiles or there's no machine guns. But I think that's DC's doing. They don't want any weapons or anything on the the figures or planes. I don't think. Um, this thing doesn't pinch. I wonder if it does pinch on the, the McFarlane one. Like, I don't know. What would the reasoning be for it to pinch in the movie? I don't know if they came up with a reason for it. But, like, the balloons in the first movie. Um, or the 89 movie. So, yeah. I think it looks really nice. I'm happy with it. Um, again, I might end up getting that other McFarlane one. We'll see. As far as the one that, that houses that 12-inch figure... I can't wrap my brain around that. Like, I think the plane looks great, but if that plane is so big, the one for $35 from Spin Master, then shouldn't have they just made it a seven inch scale one where you where and it doesn't come with a figure and then you could just put a seven inch figure in it? Why would it come with a 12 inch figure that takes up the entire length of the vehicle? It's very strange, I thought. Like, I, that is weird. <laughs> And then everybody that did bought it is basically try, like thinking of ways to customize it so you can just put a 7-inch figure in it. Very strange. It's very, very strange. So, Yeah, I think this is great. This is really good. I don't know. Is it the one for you? I'm not sure. 
Which one are you going to be picking? All three? None? Let me know in the comments. Curious about this one. Um, so that's it for today's review. If you liked the video, give it a like. Uh, subscribing would really help. Trying to build up some subscribers on the channel here. Trying to get to a thousand. Um, yeah, I'm John Soroka, and bye.